Hey guys and welcome to Tasmania TV. In today's video I have a little bathroom tour for you guys. As I'm sure you know if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, we recently renovated our bathroom completely. And I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a little tour. You guys have been asking me to do a proper house tour or apartment tour and I will do that at some point, but we're gonna start with the bathroom today. So I'm gonna show you some before and after pictures. So the background to this is that in 2015, we kind of decided or tried to buy a larger apartment, move into something larger. And the living situation in Stockholm is just ridiculous. Everything is so, 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 so expensive and it's just completely impossible to find an apartment unless you're willing to spend every dime you have on your living situation and that's just not what we're interested in. So we decided to keep the apartment that we live in because we do love it, it's a great apartment and we live in a great area so what we've decided to do instead is kind of just tweak the apartment a little bit and make it more to our liking so that we were comfortable continuing on living here. So the bathroom was step one and then we're gonna continue doing like smaller renovations throughout the entire apartment going forward, like step by step. So other than actually buying all the things, like the interiors and everything needed for the new bathroom, obviously we didn't do any of the work ourselves. We hired professionals to do the renovations for us. So that everything's properly done with the plumbing and pipes and the tiles and everything like that. And from start to finish, even though there's one little thing left that they still haven't fixed, which is a little bit annoying, I'll get back to that. From start to finish, it took about three, maybe three and a half weeks to get everything done. So for three and a half weeks, we didn't have a bathroom. Thankfully though, in the laundry room upstairs, there is an, a spare bathroom for people to use in the building, thank fuck. So we were able to use that one. And for showering, we're, we have friends in the neighborhood, so we just went to them when it was time to shower. So without any further ado, let's take a look at our bathroom. The way our bathroom looked before was just not us at all. There was an enormous glass shower wall in one corner, making the room feel way smaller than it is. The tiles on the wall were matte white and just so boring. The floor was horrible, probably the worst thing in the entire room for me. I absolutely hate tile floors for one reason and one reason only. The lines between the tiles are fucking impossible to clean and they always look dirty. So that's why we decided to go for plastic carpet flooring when we redecorated. So much easier to clean. None of the interiors from the old bathroom were saved, so we bought all new stuff, most of it from Ikea. The floor is a grey Moroccan pattern, matching the grey in the tiles on the walls. We chose to use four different tones for the walls. White, light grey, dark grey and black. We created a pattern where the inner wall is solid black, the outer wall is solid white, and the side walls travel from black to grey to white in a sporadic pattern of all four colors, just to keep things interesting and to not make the room too dark. Otherwise, all black tiles would have probably looked cool too. For the interiors, we stuck to black and white, so the bathtub, which I freaking love by the way, is white on the inside, black on the outside. The toilet is white with a black seat, the sink is white with a black washstand, and the cabinet is black. We also made sure we have enough mirrors by getting this covered for all our stuff, like perfumes, toothbrushes, and so on, which is completely covered in mirrors so that it's easy for us to trim our hair and everything like that. All the metal and plastic pieces in the bathroom are chrome so that we stick to that cold color scheme here too. For instance, the pipes, the feet of the bathtub, the knobs for the towels, and this gorgeous bathtub faucet that we spent a small fortune on. Keeping to that cold tone theme, we mostly use towels in grey and black, and the shower curtain is transparent texturized plastic. The radiator slash towel warmer is not installed yet because the plumber made a small error, so it's standing on the floor right now. Hopefully it will be installed soon. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tour of our bathroom. If you have any questions about anything that you saw, you'd like to know where we got the stuff. Obviously we got it in Sweden, so like not everything's going to be available if you're not in Sweden. But if you want to know anything more specific, just post that in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!